This broadcast brought to you under broadcasting rights granted by be with us and a very pleasant good evening to all of you. Back to receive for the Giants, number 21, Collis. As the Trevians and Highland Park meet two old suburban league uh, rivals. Hello, little tape problem here. And we're ready for the kickoff. Joe Bell to do the honors. And kicks it long and deep. And it's going to drop into the end zone. A touchback. And that's where the Trevians will take over. Touchback on the kickoff. Giants will take possession of the ball. At their Make it the uh, Giants that are going to take it. Trevian start off on defense. Trevian's trying to even up the 1997 football season at uh, one and one. Lost last week in the season opener to Libertyville, 21 to seven. Hand off, not much there. Small picks up about uh, three or four for the Giants. A beautiful, warm, sunshiny day here at Walters Field in Highland Park. Alimo. The quarterback, Frank Alimo, hands it off inside. And again, a little strong charge ahead by Small. And he picks up another three. Third and a long two for the Giants. The Trevians. were supposed to be a little bit better than uh, they were led on to believe and already we have a uh, timeout by the Hunnam Park Giants. Coach uh, Mortier interestingly enough has, his, has a son out there today playing for Highland Park. There's the Nutrier student contingent. Not a lot of them, but uh, that's rather typical of Nutrier. They do not travel well. I don't know what it is about Nutrier fans. They, they do not go travel a great distance. Don Mortier is a guard and defensive linebacker for the Giants. to sweep around the corner and the first down by Alimo. Frank Alimo, the quarterback, 5'10", 165 pound senior and he picks up a first down. Nowhere to go. Hey, 
Stanley Griffin on the carry. Uh, Stan Griffin, the ball carrier, 5'10", 195 pound junior. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Trevian's defense sets up. Alimo, a little trouble with the snap, managed to get it away, and the pass is complete for another Giants first down. That was Michael Drobney who caught that one for the Giants. The Trevians will play uh, Deerfield next week, followed by Maine South. In reverse, and nope. And the Trevians caught that one. Mike Freiberger, the first to get him. Trevian spreading it out. Alimo, another inside handoff. And not much in the way of yardage. Stanley Griffin on the carry, getting the Giants to midfield. And uh, Peter Kelly, six foot, 225 pound junior. The first to get to him. Both the freshmen and sophomores won big for Nutrier. At midfield, back to pass, looking in trouble. Trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Gets about two, three yards and then runs out of room. And it was uh, Mike Freiberger that finally forced him out. And that'll bring up a fourth down and the Highland Park Giants will have to kick it away. There's the kick and it is a beauty. Bounces, 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 goes down. Stopped at the one foot line, actually was touched first. Nice job. Touching first was uh, Ricky Kirsch. And now the Trevians will start from the one foot line. Mark Tapley on the quarterback, the Trevians. From the one foot line. Off. Tapley keeps it himself. Picks up maybe a yard or two just to get himself uh, out of harm's way a little bit. Quarterback Mark Tapley on so the Tapley it, takes it out and uh, getting the signal about one yard from the sidelines. One thing that uh, Mark Tapley has certainly become known for is his running speed. Back to pass. Throws near side. Frankie complete. Picks up a couple of yards on the missed tackle. And out beyond the 15 to about the 18 yard line. Pass complete 
incomplete to James Frank, brought down by Michael Drake. So Jim Frankie able to pick up a couple of extra yards on the missed tackle on the part of the Highland Park Giants and move the Trevians to a first down and out beyond the 15-yard line. This has really been a feeling out process early on in the year for Tapley with the rest of the Trevians. A handoff and uh, Burns able to move it ahead. Brad Burns gets it out past the 30 yard line to about the 32 and another first down for the Trevians. Brought down by number 31, Carlo Carani, initially hit by Ricky Kirsch. So the Trevians starting to move the ball a little bit from the one foot line. They've got to go 99 and two thirds of the way south. Tapley back to pass, looking, got room, got opening, and complete to Frankie. Frankie inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. Pass is complete to James Frank. And the Trevians, just that quick, now are threatening. Early on, on the pass completion, Tapley to Jim Frankie. And the split coverage got behind the pass defense of the Giants. Here's Mark Tapley again. Trevians have two split wide on either side. Inside handoff. Charging ahead and picks up about uh, four, maybe five. They were saying a new chair fumbled in there, but it uh, was late. And the Trevians pick up a couple. Andy Deal, it looked like. At about the 13 yard line. Or maybe it was uh, Bell again. It's hard to tell who exactly got that ball. Back to pass, Tapley over to the near side. Pass is complete, and in for the touchdown is Greg Williamson. And just that quick, the Trevian's on the board. Greg Williamson for a Trevian touchdown. In for the touchdown. And the Trevian's on the board. Joe Bell on to try the extra point. The point after. Whoops. Illegal procedure against the Trevians. Somebody moved inside. And uh, we'll add an extra five yards to the kick by Bell. The biggest player on the Trevians team is Chad Richmond this year, 6'7", 265 pound junior. But he's out right now with a little ankle, I mean a, a knee problem and the kick is good on the point after and the Trevians lead it. Extra point try by Joe Bell is good. And with 5.31 to play here in the quarter. First quarter, the Trevians leading it. Trevians you take the lead early on Trevians play Deerfield next week Deerfield uh, hurting with the loss of their quarterback for the year their quarterback of last year to graduation
Um, and uh, it is Mac Man Savage, just a sophomore now, who uh, will quarterback the team. That and John Butler. Patrick Boylini, Callis Campbell back to return for the Giants. And Joe Bell ready to kick it. And another boomer. Well into the end zone for another touchback. And uh, the Giants will take over on their own 20. Whenever I see these marching bands at some of these other schools, I always think back about the days when New Trier had a marching band, and I'm showing my age, because it's been 30 plus years. A pass uh, threw it away. Pass is incomplete. A couple of players nearby, so they won't be grounding. In the way mo. We'll go with a second down now and 10 yards to go. At his own 20 yard line. The handoff and met at the line on the carry off the left side. And uh, Griffin got maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he picked up a yard. It looks like he picked up one. So it's third down and nine yards to go for the Giants. Looks like Peter Kelly is calling the signs, uh, the signal tonight in place of Mike uh, Freiberger who did it last week. Or maybe they just alternate. A snap and a rather poor snaps. And it's intercepted by Andy Turf. Turf in all kinds of trouble goes down, but nonetheless, Trevians have pretty good field position. Inside the tw uh, the 30 at about the 28-yard line or thereabouts. And that's where the Trevians will have it. First and 10 on the interception. Alamo in desperation. And I guess there's a question about another football being brought in. And the Trevian's getting a little chewing out by the officials about an extra football. Mark Tapley, ready to take it. Tapley, the pitch over to Burns. Burns, 20, and down at about the 20 or 19 yard line. Make it the 20, and uh, plus. Gain of seven, second down. Tap uh, Frankie and Dill out to the outside. And a whistle for a, an official oh, equipment problem. 
Officials timeout. Somebody's got some equipment problems. Looks to be a helmet problem. Hello, little bug came for a visit. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ready to go. Tapley, back to pass. Tapley looks, 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 throws to the near side. And a touchdown! This time to Andy Deal. Pass is caught by Andy Deal for the Trevian touchdown. And the Trevians lead at 13 to nothing. On the reception, 20 yard touchdown pass. Tapley to deal. And it looks to me like uh, Tapley beginning to find uh, find himself and find his receivers, a problem he had last week. The kick is up, the kick is good, and the Trevians lead a 14 to nothing, which is a nice thing to see. You know, the Trevians kind of have a weak uh, schedule until they get to uh, Maine South, and then they've got uh, Maine South, then Niles West, Evanston, Waukegan, always a tough game for the Trevians. Although this year I understand Glenbrook South is not as strong, and uh, Maine East never is. Same thing with Niles West. So I think it's going to be kind of a week of uh, up games and down games. So it's going to be uh, next week, Deerfield, then uh, Maine South, and... Uh, This year, it seems to be a very big difference between the teams that are the good teams on top versus the bad teams on uh, the bottom. And the good teams are very good, and the bad teams are awful in the Central Suburban this year, football-wise. And the kick away... And once again, a touchback. And the Highland Park Giants will take over on their own 40. There you go, 3.32 left to uh, go here in the first quarter. Frank Alimo, pitch back over here to the near side, Small. Small gets to the 20, 21, 23 yard line. Off left tackle for a gain of three yards. Second down. And that'll be second down and uh, seven for the Giants at their own 23. Trevian's good pursuit along the line. Didn't allow a lot of room. Once again this year, the big game for the Trevians, definitely going to be that Highland Park game. I mean the uh, Evanston game. And I think also the, uh, that Main South game will be important for the Trevians. Alimel and uh, messed up play. The Trevian line able to drop him for a loss. on the play. It's going to bring up third down. Yeah, take that back. Uh, I believe it was... Oh. Wrong player. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Trevians. Oops. Whistles. Before the play got underway. And I would tend to say it's uh, illegal procedure. 
appears to be a legal procedure. Not a tremendous crowd here today. Illegal motion on the Giants, five yards, still third down. Third down and uh, 15. Nutrier Soccer lost last night to York, 4-1. to one. Back to pass, Alamo passes it, pass is complete, going to be short though. Only picked up uh, about 7 or 8 and that will bring up fourth down and long. Pass is complete to Patrick Boylini, a pickup of 7 on the play, brings up fourth down for the Giants. Fourth and 8 for Highland Park and they'll have to give it away again. Deep in their own territory. Back to punt for the Giants. Caesar Small. Once more, Small back to uh, kick it away. Caesar Small, a 5'11", 195-pound junior. He kicks it and goes out of bounds. He got a, a little bit of a rush. That's a punt of 33 yards. First down, Trevians at their own 46-yard line. At the uh, Trevians 46, that's where the Trevians will take over. Tapley hands it off to Burns. Not exactly the cleanest handoff in the world, but Burns able to charge ahead and pick up a few yards. And uh, today it appears that Trevian's able to give some room. And give the Trevians a little, uh, give uh, Tapley a little time. Tapley back to pass. Looks, looks, looks. Let's loose a long one. And it's caught by uh, Williamson and out of bounds. Bounced out of bounds by uh, Ricky Kirsch. But Williamson able to pick up good yardage. And the Trevians once more charging ahead. Already leading at 14 to nothing. We're still in the first quarter. Hand off to Burns. Burns didn't really find the hole and down he goes after a pickup of a couple of yards. And at the end of the first quarter, the score of the Dutra Trevians 14, the Highland Park Giants nothing. We'll be back with more football action from Walters Field in Highland Park right after these messages. Here on the... Welcome back, all set to get on the way with the second quarter of tonight's football action. Trevians leading 14-0. They're inside the 20 yard line. Tapley works out of the shotgun, back to pass. Looks, 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 throws to the corner. Intercepted. Interception on the play by Patrick Boy, down the the pass intended for Williamson. And it's uh, intercepted by uh, Jimmy Notek. And the 
Adam Park Giants take over at their own 20 on the touchback following the interception in the end zone. And a whistle. And a delay of game. Already against the Giants and I And uh, Alimo uh, nothing too pleased with that. And understandably so. So first and 15 at their own 15 for the Highland Park Giants. Man goes in motion. Alamo hands off inside. Fumble. Loose ball. And uh, Small fumbled it. The ball retains to possession. And Small able to dive back down on it. Caesar Small keeps it to the Giants, but it brings up a uh, second down and 16. Loss of a yard on the play. Back to passes. Lamo in trouble. The pass caught. Didn't gain very much, though, on the play. The pass is complete to uh, Michael Drobny. And uh, he picks up a couple. Takes it out to the 24-yard line, 23-24. Kind of halfway in between the two. Gain of eight on the play. Third down, Giants. Third down. Alamo, back to pass. No, he's going to run with it. And he won't get the first down. He picked up only about a yard. And he's uh, knocked out of bounds. For a yard to the right, bringing up fourth down and five for the Giants. That was Chuck Krajewski who tripped him up, trying to turn the corner. Brings up a fourth down and long. Back to receive Bernie Fourth and six. Number 25, Jim Kelly. Small to punt. And Small will kick it away. The kick went through Frankie's hands, but I don't think he touched it. He did not. First and ten, Trevians. Caesar Small brings up first and ten for the Trevians. First and ten for the Trevians at their own 20-yard line. Mark Tapley. Back out onto the field for the Trevians. As the Trevians lead. By 14. Hand off to Burns. Burns fumbles. Loose ball. And I think the Giants have it. Yeah, they do. Highland Park Giants. Don Mortier. Five eleven, 165 pounds, 185 pounds senior. 
Don Mortier recovers the fumble. And Highland Park in good field position at the Trevian 17. Brad Burns fumbled that football. Handoff, nowhere to go. Who was that It came in there that quick? Small struggles to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, Giants. The Trevians, right before that handoff was even made. Peter Kelly. Six foot, 225, 225 pound junior. Alamo tried to look for a pass, but stacked up by Joe Bell. 6'3", 215-pound senior. Bell able to uh, drop Bell Amo for another loss. Out beyond the 25 at the 25 and a half. And timeout taken by the Highland Park Giants. And understandably so. 9-10 to play here in the second quarter. And the Trevians in command, leading 14-0. They fumbled away a football deep in their own territory, but they've been pushing the Giants back ever since, and now they're out beyond the 25. Trevians do have a couple of walking wounded. Most notably, uh, Nick Wallace, and as we mentioned before, Chad Richmond. And of course, John Spellman, who is questionable for this whole football season. Out. quickly back to pass throws it no incomplete flag is down though and I think it's in the area of holding against the Giants a desperation move But the Trevians may decline this. Oh, in the illegal shift. Okay. Legal shift against the Giants, but the Trevians will decline it because it'll bring up a fourth down. Penalty against the Giants. Brings up fourth down. Yeah, and the Trevians decide not to take the illegal shift. Timeout, Highland Park. And the Giants take another timeout. So the Trevians have held the Giants. And the question is, will they kick it away or will they uh, try for the first down? 
And certainly that's a question that will have to be decided right now out there on the field, but my guess is they, in this situation, knowing what they have, I would say uh, you probably they probably will kick it away, would want to kick it away. Back them up, if nothing else. And the way their kicker's been able to uh, boom this thing can put him down around the five yard line. You know, angle it to the corner. Let uh, Caesar Small put it there. But it looks like they're gonna go for it instead at the 25. Figuring uh, five, what's five yards. Back to pass, Alemo throws an alley Hooper, and it is knocked down, incomplete. I think Turf deliberately let it drop, realizing what uh, the difference of about 20 yards or so. And the Trevians have it at the 25 yard line, their own 25. That's where they will take over. Tapley brings the team out. Tapley back to pass, looking, looking, throws, complete. To Jim Frankie. And they close to the now oh, a gain of about five and make it second and a short one for the Trevians make it uh, second down and one out at the yeah about the 35 he's right tap play back to pass again Let's lo loose a bomb wide open is Frankie. Frankie goes down inside the 10 yard line. James Frank on the reception brought down by Ricky Kirsch. Inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, new trier. Yeah, it's about a 50 yard uh, bomb. Nice uh, toss right on the money by Mark Tapley. And the Trevians threatening again inside the 10 yard line. And make it at the nine, officially. Tapley looks, looks, gets out of harm's way. Slippery to Frankie, Frankie. And he stepped out of bounds at about the six. Pass to James Frank. Knocked out of bounds by Carlo Carani. Second down, new true. Second down. And now six to go for the touchdown. Evanston annihilated Glenbrook North last night, 41 to nothing. The Trevians will not play Glenbrook North this year. Brad Burns forges ahead to about the two. And it's third down and about a yard. The carry brought down by Adam Brown for a gain inside the five yard line. Brings up third down and goal for New Trier. Third and two for the Trevians at the Highland Park two. And diving in is Burns for the touchdown. Brad Burns in for the touchdown. So Brad Burns dives in to complete the play. Seventy-five yards. 
for the Trevians to the touchdown. And uh, Joe Bell on again. There's the snap. The kick is up and the kick is good. And the Trevians lead. Joe Bell's extra point is good. 21 to nothing. Kick is good and long, and once more a touchback. Each time he's uh, put it inside the 10, and the Giants have wisely let it go each time for the touchback. At the 20 yard line is where the Giants will take over. Looks around. Hand off. Big hole. But uh, by the time Small got there to that hole, he uh, didn't have much. Picked up about three. Make it four. Second down and six. Handoff and a loss of yards on the play. Thomas Campbell hitting the backfield, third down. Campbell didn't get uh, very much at all. Carlos Campbell uh, hit back behind the line. <laughs> Matt uh, Smiley, I believe that was. Am I right? think so. Yeah, it was Smiley. No, no, take that back. But in any case, another attempt at a run around the end, and it didn't go very far. Again, Campbell with, with the ball carrier. Fourth and six yards to go. And the Trevians will get the football back. Four downs and out. Back to return for New Trier, number two, James Frank. Small into punt. And once more, Caesar Small kicks it away. And Trevians will let it bounce out of bounds at about the 42. And that's where they will take over. On the play by Caesar Small out of bounds. First and 10, New Trier. So the Trevians will have it at their own 42-yard line.
Mark Tapley saunders up to the line. And off. Good effort on the part of Kel uh, Kim. And he picks up uh, some pretty good yardage there. Kim on the run. Johnny Mort here on the stop for the Giants. Second down and three to go. Paul Kim, 5'9", 165-pound junior. Getting a chance to see some of the other players now. They're starting to sneak a couple of them in. And it's got to be a little mixed emotions on the part of the new career coach as Sutton made the tackle for Highland Park. Tapley hands off again to Kim. Kim bounces off. Still moving the feet. And managed to uh, pick up a couple of yards just by foot power Kim on a short play. and determination alone. In on the tackle, Jeff Weil. Stephen Felsenthal and J.J. And uh, Tapley getting the signals from uh, Mortier. That play hands it off to Kim. Kim tries to push ahead and uh, got the first down. Well, Paul Kim able to uh, get the first and ten. And the Trevians into Highland Park territory. While we have a break in the action, let's take a break. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Welcome back. Assisted by Jimmy Canote. New Trier Trevian Sports here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Mark Tapley has the Trevians in the Highland Park territory. The Trevians on the move again. Tapley, handoff. Oh, Mike. Kim found all kinds of room and then a good, solid hit. Drobny, but Paul Kim picked up some good yardage. Picked up about nine, bringing up a second down and one. At the 37 yard line. Pick at the 36 of the Giants. Tapley back to pass. Tapley looks, 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 throws. Pass is complete. To Andy, Andy Deal. Down by Carlo first down. And the Trevians have another first down. And they're on the march again at the about the 20, 21 yard line. Make it the 21. First and 10 for the Trevians there. The Trevians trying to win their first game of the 97 season. Lost to Libertyville last week. Tapley looks, passes, passes complete. In for the touchdown is Andy Deal. Passes complete to number 12, Andy Deal for the Trevian touchdown. And that makes it 27 to nothing. Stop this massacre. 27 to nothing. Joe Bell on for the attempt of the extra point. Uh oh. And it's picked up by Deal. And Deal dives in for the two point conversion. And the Trevies lead at 29 to nothing. With a 124 to play here in the first half, Trevian's leading it 29 to nothing. As we said, the new Trier student contingent 
does not travel well. I don't know what the problem is, but the, it, for years it's, there's been this problem. They don't travel well, and they have a tendency to sit on their hands a little bit. But in any case, the Trevians, the most important thing is the football score here, and the Trevians in the league at 29 to nothing. As we attempt to finish off the first half here. Joe Bell counts out the numbers. And there is a proper contingent of 11. And Bell kicks it away. And another high, long boomer that's going to sail into the end zone. And it does. And first and 10 Giants at the, their own 20-yard line. A small Giants contingent here, but uh, I think that's more a case of everybody in the school knows what type of uh, football team they have and have had for a number of years, really ever since the days of Sean uh, Johnston. Actually, I can remember one of the years I was working with the truck and everything else, they made it to the playoffs against uh, Lake Forest, as I remember it. Handoff, and uh, the dive ahead by Small, and Caesar Small gets up uh, to the 20, yeah, make it the 29, kind of halfway between. Twenty-eight and two-thirds, maybe. And Frank Alibo sets the offense for the Giants. Handoff. Small again, charges ahead, got the first down. Out about the 20, the 35 yard line. And uh, Small is static to get that first down. Make it at the 34. First and 10. Highland Park. Man goes in motion. Limo passes to the near side. Pass is complete. Quick pass is caught by number 34, Elliot Passes. Gain of about Elliot Passes with the reception as the Siren sounds at the end of the first half. It's the Nutria Trevians 29 and the Highland Park Giants nothing. We'll be back with more football action here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network right after these messages. Are watching sports on the Metro Chicago Sports Network and we'll be back for more football action between the Nutria Trevians and the Highland Park Giants right after these messages on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. We're set for the second half of tonight's football action. Allen Park will kick it away to the Trevians. And a low hugger taking it about the 25, charging ahead and up the Trevians go to about the 30-plus uh, yard line. We have an injury down on the field. Mark Tapley in a quarterback. And off inside and big hole for Paul Kim. He gets uh, first down right that right away 
Jimmy Kanotek and Michael Drabney on the tackle. Drabney and Kanotek. Kanotek, the son, Jimmy Kanotek, the son of the Highland Park pitching coach. I'm sure we'll start seeing some very interesting players coming in for the Trevians here in the second half. Give some of them an opportunity they would not otherwise have. Tapley, the handoff to Kim. Kim, go, oh my. Nice speed on the part of uh, Paul, Kim, Paul Kim. And Paul Kim gets another first down right off the bat. We're deep inside, move inside uh, the territory of the Highland Park Giants at the 40-yard line or thereabouts. Make it the 39. Tapley hands off again to Kim. And Kim pushes his way inside the 35 to about the 34. Short gain on the play by Paul Kim. Initial hit was by Johnny Pearson. Take down. Zach Weiner in, on, in now to play. Out went uh, Matt Moran. Nutra Trevians leading 29 to nothing. Hand off again to Kim and he got stacked up, held on at the line, picked up about a yard. Paul Kim again on the carry, taken down by Caesar Small and number 33, Johnny Pearson. And now Kim will go off and coming on Andy Deal. To quarterback. Out goes Mark Tapley. So Andy Deal now in at quarterback for the Trevians. Tapley 10 of 11 on the passing department. Deal hands off. Oh my, nice hole. Chris McLeod. Chris McLeod on the carry for the Trevians. Carried it uh, for another first down inside the 25 yard line. And the Trevians again now threatening with Andy Deal on at quarterback. Deal also the shortstop for the Trevians baseball team. Hand off to McLeod. McLeod bounces with second effort but didn't uh, gain much yardage. Kept the legs going. Close to the first down. Johnny Pearson, Caesar Small team up to make the tackle. Second down, new trip. Second down and uh, less than a yard. Drobny a little slow in getting back up. Andy Dale in at quarterback. They'll give Tapley a rest the rest of the way. The Trevians have this one in hand here in the third quarter, leading at 29 to nothing. Hand off to McLeod. McLeod with second effort gets the first down and then some. McLeod to carry for New Trier. Frank Alimo. 
And Jeff Weil in on the stop. And the Trevians down to the 14-yard line. Trevians keeping it on the ground. Adam Park really hasn't been in this game score-wise since early on. Busting free is Kim for the touchdown, but the flag go do, goes down. It looks like there's uh, possibly two, one on each side. Hold against the Trevians. I think there's a second flag back behind. Uh, no, just the holding against the Trevians. But from the point of infraction, but it'll still give the Trevians a first and ten at the 13-yard line. Still a first down, first and ten Trevians at the 13-yard line from the point of infraction holding the uh, wide receiver over here on the near side. With the infraction. Andrew Vitale. Or Vitale. Now here's the handoff again to Kim. He busts ahead. And Paul Kim in down to about the five yard line. On the inside handoff. Or pitch back, I guess that was. Johnny Pearson and Jeff Wilde make the stop. And the Trevians down to the five yard line. Close to the first down. So Andy Deal now in at uh, quarterback. Give Mark Tabley a little bit of a rest. For the afternoon, save him up for next week against Deerfield. Hand off. Bouncing to the outside is Kim. In for the touchdown is Paul Kim. So Paul Kim with some nice speed and a nice effort takes it in for the touchdown. And now on to try the point after is Joe Bell again. The kick down and the snap down and the kick up and good. Joe Bell's point after attempt is successful. And the Trevians now lead at 36 to nothing with 5.47 to play here in the third quarter. And the Trevians well in command of this one. And Joe Bell set to kick it off again. And a kick away and another one that's going to sail in. It does sail in for the touchback. 
And that's where the Highland Park Giants will take over at their 20 following the touchback. The Giants take over to the 20-yard line. 5.47 to play here in the third quarter. And the Trevians have basically dominated from the beginning. Only miscue was a uh, pickoff of a tap play pass in the end zone. And the Trevians fumble at the about the 17 yard line, but the no damage done on either case. Trevians are going to have to stop these turnovers. In a game like this, it doesn't mean anything. It meant something last week. It will mean something when you get to the regular Central Suburban South, which they will do starting the 27th, Niles West, Evanston, Waukegan, Main East, and Glenbrook South in that order. I don't think we will see very much as far as uh, many changes on the defense. But the offense, uh, I imagine we'll see a bunch of uh, new faces along the way here. Pass is incomplete. Brings up third down. Pass intended for number 19, Shahed Rassam. Third down and 11 for the Giants. Third down and 11 on the pass uh, intended for Shahed Razam. 5'11", 140 pound senior. Two wide to the far side for the Giants. Again, the handoff inside and uh, nothing doing. And the Trevians are gonna Bring up a fourth down as once more the Highland Park Giants go four downs and out. Caesar Small will kick it away again for the Highland Park Giants. Standing at his own 10-yard line. Kind of a sl low snap. He gets it away. Nice high one. And it bounces out of bounds at the 49-yard line of the Giants. Now the Trevians will... Oh, they're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Sure looked like the 49 to me, but they're going to put it inside uh, New Trier territory at the 48-yard line of the Trevians. First and 10, once more Andy Deal on the quarterback. I would think uh, somewhere along the line here, we'll see Frank Sarkett. Actually, the true backup quarterback the Trevians were supposed to have is uh, Nick Wallace, but Wallace out with a uh, uh, broken collarbone. McLeod picks up about five. Second down and five. And the Trevians right back into Highland Park Territory. Hand off and no gain, maybe a loss of a yard on the play. 
McLeod, I believe, once more was the... New Trier runner stacked up on the play. Caesar Small, Jeff Weil, and Johnny Pearson in for the tackle, and a loss. Third down. Third down. Hand off to McLeod. McLeod, second effort, and gets the first down at the 35-yard line. Or make it the 40-yard line. First down for New Trier. J.J. Velasco, Michael Drobny make the stop for the Giants. Lauren McDonald goes on out. First and 10 for the Trevians. At the 40. Deal, handoff on the inside. Again, McLeod. Picks up seven. Second down and three. As the Trevians on the move once more. Already leading it 36 to nothing. Andy Deal kind of wanders over there. And before too long, I would think Sarquette will probably come in. Maybe even on uh, this down if they get inside the uh, 30 or the 20. on this uh, run. Oh my, big hole. Picking up a few. Sam Manhoff. Jimmy Kanotek on the stop for the Giants, but it's a first down for New Trier. Sam Manhoff. And here's Sarkett now. First and 10 for the Trevians. Manhoff, 5'10", 200-pound senior. Now in at uh, quarterback is the junior, Frank Sarkett. Sarkett, on second effort now, McLeod manages to pick up a couple of yards on the somewhat sloppy handoff. I would say that's probably more a case of nerves on the part of Sarkett. His first play. for the varsity. And that's the end of the third quarter. Trevian's leading at 36 to nothing. We'll be back with more football action from Walters Field in Highland Park right after these messages. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Underway here with the fourth quarter of today's football action. Trevians have the ball on the Highland Park 21 yard line. Already leading 36 to nothing. Frank Sarquette in a quarterback. Hand off to McLeod. McLeod charges ahead for about three or four. And I get to see Chris most of the year. He's also one of the hockey players. See, a couple of these guys were brothers of players I've seen before. Or saw last year in sports, but younger brothers. I noticed there's a younger Brooklier out there now. 
Marquette, again the handoff. Diving ahead for the first down, Chris McLeod. McLeod, six foot, 175 pound senior. Putting some rushing numbers up on the board today. Again, out goes McDonald, and in comes uh, Manhoff. The handoff to McLeod, and he got nowhere. They have even lost a yard. Second down, and uh, about 11. In comes McDonald again with the play. The handoff, McLeod, second effort, still on his feet, now finally brought down. Took about the whole defense of the Giants to do it. A plethora of Highland Park Giants finally got him down. Brings up a third down and about six. McLeod, second effort, goes through everybody, touchdown, New Trier. Chris McLeod in for the touchdown. Touchdown for New Trier by Chris McLeod. Sloppy tackles by the Island Park Giants. And now the Trevians will go for the point after. Joe Bell's kick is up and good. And the Trevians lead 43 to nothing. A lot of time left in this one. We're still in the, we're in the fourth quarter, but about ten minutes, about nine minutes left to play. You know the funny thing that uh, that I constantly hear about the "quote unquote" success of uh, New Trier in sports is always the comment, "Well, there's so many kids at the school." Uh, while that's true that New Trier has, you know, if the if both Highland Park and Deerfield, which are the same township school district, were together, they would still be less than New Trier. I think the difference is not the numbers, but the fact that the uh, so many of the New Trier players in so many of the sports. Uh, are playing in youth leagues and uh, learning at least some of the basics in the youth league. I'm not saying that they're learning all they should learn or anything like that or whatever, but I think that that makes a big difference as uh, Joe Bell again kicks it out. You know, certainly there are other factors that go into that. Natural ability, size, etc. But I think that as far as football goes, and as far as some of these other sports, hey, final score, Michigan State I don't think that Nutra uh, 
necessarily far out seat out uh, you know the, uh, out exceeds some of the other schools every year if it weren't for the yeah the rollout Alamo with second effort still moving around quite a bit and now finally everybody gets on him he was running for cover and he picked up uh, about three yards he had to uh, scramble for his life I think they would have done far he would have done far better uh, going straight ahead but I think that the the fact is is that that, that youth program certainly helps uh, the new Trier program over and above the somewhat larger student population. Sloppy handoff in the backfield and nowhere to go. Third down, Highland Park. Cullis Campbell didn't have anywhere to go with that one. Met almost immediately by Dan Simon. Ah, Chad Richmond is better. He's back out there. The pass complete. Spins away, gets the first down. And brought down at about the 33-yard line. It's nice to see Chad able to play following that uh, that knee sprain. Chad, a big boy, 6'7", 265 pounds. The pitch to the outside. Campbell gets some good yardage up beyond the 40 to about the 43 yard line. Collis Campbell off right tackle picks up about nine yards. Second down, Highland Park. Trevians have put in their. Uh, some of those guys, I. Uh, this is the first time they're getting a chance to play. Uh, didn't play last week. Trevians had all kinds of problems last week, but here today, leading 43 to nothing, give them some varsity experience. Back to pass, up the middle, pass is complete. There he goes. Touchdown. Touchdown, Giants. Drobny with the reception, and the Highland Park Giants are on the board. And <laughs> they'll go for the two point conversion. Lymel decides to dive in himself, puts a, the ball over as he's going down, and the two-point conversion's good. And the Trevians lead 43 to 8 with 5 minutes 11 seconds left to play.
So the Trevians will in command here. They'll take on Deerfield next week. At home at Trevian's Field out at Nutrier West Center. So the Trevians will receive the kickoff for the first time today following a Touchdown by Allen Park, the second time all day they've gotten a kickoff. They got the start of the second half kickoff. So we'll see how the specialty team of the Trevians does. The kick is kind of short. And rolling ahead for a couple of extra yards. was Zach Weiner with the return. First and 10 for the Trevians. At the 36 yard line. Frank Sarquette. On in relief of uh, Andy Deal, who came on in relief of uh, Mark Tapley. After Tapley, uh, 10 of 11. Small on the tackle, a gain of about a yard and a half. I don't think the Trevians have a uh, have cheerleaders this year, or maybe they just haven't been named yet, haven't been decided yet, haven't seen them in the first two games. Sarquette, and the handoff goes to the outside. Lateral movement, uh, Jeff Procopio, but he didn't gain much. May have even lost a yard. Jeff Procopio on the run for New Trier, taken down by Ricky Kirsch after a short gain. Yeah, they'll say that he Trevians. did gain a little bit. The play brought in by Jim Kelly. The handoff and Kelly up ahead for a couple. Out beyond the 40. Chris Schrader on the tackle, gain of about four. And it's fourth down. And the Trevians with fourth down will kick it away. Number one, Frank Alimo, and number 82, Patrick Boylini. Andy Deal on to punt it away. And Deal sends a boomer, takes a Trevian bounce, and finally down at about the eight yard line. Make it at the eight. A 50 yard punt by number 12. And a 50-yard boot by Dale. Favorable wind. But nonetheless, today the ball has been carrying well for the kickers and for those quarterbacks, meaning Mark Tabley, been able to get that ball up in the air. And I was thinking back to the sophomore game, too. Matt Wattick able to throw some long bombs today getting it up in the air and a handoff on the inside second effort by Campbell gets it uh, up to the 10 yard line for about a yard. Second, down. second down eight yards to go for the Giants the ball resting at the 10 
Again, remember next week, football action. When the Trevians take on the Deerfield Warriors. Right here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Alimo goes to the backfield. He's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage before the Trevians all over him. Late third quarter, Notre Dame 10, Georgia Tech 13. And I... Uh, I want to say Manhoff, somebody else in there. And I think that's just about going to do it. Under a minute to go. And that's it. And the final score of the Nutrier Trevians, 43. And the Highland Park Giants, 8. This broadcast brought to you by the broadcast.